reading the uh, comment section a couple days ago and there were actually a few comments talking about we should do F-22 versus F-15 like a bunch of them because uh, of what happens at red flag so uh, here we are we have an F-22 we're going to take on I believe there's seven F-15s out there So usually, you know, we're up against MiG-29s and things like that, but uh, the F-15 being a very capable air-to-air -air platform itself, which I believe has never been shot down, well, I know that for a fact, in air-to-air -air combat, the F-15 has never been shot down by another aircraft. Um, we have on radar here the group of them. You can see they're staying together, which you know at first sight seems wrong you're like oh why would you do that so you're easy to kill i think if they spread out i'd have an easier time killing them uh because there'd they, be two different groups and i could just you know dust one off and then go after the other um and that would make i mean splitting up into two groups and doing a pincer move makes more sense if you know where your bandit is the fact is i'm an f-22 they don't know where i am they just know i'm out here somewhere you know and to be fair to them i haven't you know put myself on their side their flank on their six you know all they know is that i'm somewhere in front of them now they have to find me they do have very good radars they are f-15s at the end of the day right but we do always hear stories about f-22s going to these red flag exercises and things like that and just dusting off like seven or eight f-15s without them ever even knowing they were there you know, uh, you hear stories like that. So it's interesting to see if the F-22 could really do that against an F-15's radar. Um, and really how much of an impact stealth can have in the modern combat environment. And how much it really outclasses makes a difference between 4th and 5th gen as soon as you introduce something like stealth into the equation, right? Now we're in perfect range here, so Fox 3 times 4 we're going to put 4 AMRAMs out on these guys. Alright, there we go. Those are extremely high probabilities of kill on those AMRAMs. If they're going to survive those, they're going to have to notch them. Uh, there will be no escape from those. I am now defending, and we're going to have to go into the cons here in order to defend. And the contrails will then give me away. Right? That's just how it's going to happen. You can see it in the back there. It's going to show them visually where I am. They'll be able to see me, even though they can't see me on radar, maybe. Because we're only like... 30 miles away. Look at that. Clearly marking. Continue to defend. There we go. We see splashes. One, two, three, four. Four kills off in the distance. Absolute carnage. We'll go ahead and turn the other way here. Remember that the remaining three F-15s now are watching my contrail. So they're going to be able to see exactly where I'm headed, it looks like. We're out of the cons now. 
and I'm going to go ahead and turn around the opposite way from where the cons made it look like I was going. I'm going to recommit, push the radar up high, and we're going to look. we got two more AMRAMs left. Two AMRAMs and three bandits, three F-15s remaining. Um, there we go. I got them on radar here. One and two. And you see them running away, actually. <laughs> they just saw four of their buddies get smoked, and they went cold. Because they, they were afraid that there probably are AMRAMs out on them as well, you know? Which is a fair assumption. You just saw four of your buddies just explode. <laughs> we're now 13 miles, and they're turning around Fox 3 times 2. We're going to defend here. Okay, those are also very high probabilities of kill. We are out of AMRAMs. There's those two guys in the cons because they are defending, they're diving down to try to survive those AMRAMs. It's not going to happen. Those guys are as good as dead. Let's see. Can you see a splash? Any second now, there's one splash on the guy on the right and impact on guy on the left. All right, two more F-15s dead there, so we're gonna go ahead and recommit here. We gotta find that last guy, and we gotta kill him before he kills me. This is getting a little bit more dangerous because, you know, the ranges are closing a little bit. There is a possibility that he can see me now if he looks in the right place. Okay, there's one F-15 remaining, and he's going to be a problem for me because I don't have any more AMRAMs. He still has all of his AMRAMs. As I get closer to him, he's going to actually see me on radar, and he's going to be able to shoot at me. Um, and he's got AMRAMs, right, as I just said. So it's a lot more dangerous than the situation I'm in. There he is in the cons up high. I'm a little worried that he's diving down because he can see me. I need to get close enough to him to shoot my 9x and at the same time survive the AMRAM that he will probably shoot at me, assuming that he finds me or is looking at me. But so far, six of his buddies have been killed, so the odds are not very good for him. Just trying to see if I can fly like slightly below him here. Try to shoot him in the stomach. <laughs> Here we go, 9X. And Fox 2 from about six miles, that's a long range shot. I think he shot an AMRAM at me too, so we have to defend that. And just hope that that 9X finds its mark. He's flaring. He knows I'm underneath him, he knows how close I am, so he sees me on radar. I think I survived his AMRAM shot. And it looks like that 9X I fired missed. It was kind of long range for that missile, so... Go ahead and get a little bit closer here. Yeah, this will do it. Fox 2. And look at this, I've basically gotten onto a 6. He's dead. He's gonna die for sure. Splash! 7 F-15s killed by one F-22. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Honestly, it wasn't even that hard. 